Swabby. Hello again. Oh my god. Guys, I was overwhelmed with the amount of people that really liked the, the last video. I was not expecting this. So, because of that, we are doing a part two and we're gonna keep going. And, you know, so here we are. And we're back again. So, uh, keep in mind that most of the scenes are accurate to the manga in 2019. So if I don't comment on something, assume that 2019 is the most accurate. Also, for the first six collector's books, I will be using the Tokyo Pop translation. Once I get to the seventh book, which starts at volume 13, I will use the Yen Press version. I will probably forget some details. For example, I believe I forgot to mention that Matoko's hair is supposed to be a dark bluish color, but 2001 made it light brown. Also, keep in mind, spoilers, like this one's a little more spoiler heavy than I thought it would be. But yeah, just, just keep an eye out for that. When Haru is first introduced, he's at the Soma house during the new year, but 2001 does not introduce him here. 2001 ignores Haru calling Shigure sensei. Haru's jacket collar is black in 2019. When Kyo gets excited about the run in the manga, Toru comments about his eyes changing color. The girls ogling Yuki, pulling Toru away from him, and Hana cursing Minami doesn't happen in 2001. When Haru breaks the fourth wall, only 2001 Kyo acknowledges that he broke it. 2019 doesn't show Haru flipping Kyo off. Haru's sides are called light and dark in 2019 rather than black and white. 2001 ignores Kyo's thoughts about how he's more mad after Haru mentions Toru. 2001's fight is more accurate to the manga than 2019. 2019 skips Haru insulting Kyo's inability to beat Yuki. 2001 doesn't show Yuki's flashback to when he was younger, so his health gets worse randomly. 2019 Kyo goes to hit Haru one last time as Yuki falls ill instead of both boys coming to an immediate stop. 2019 adds a scene of Kyo reacting to Toru's worry about Yuki's health. Haru is shown in Kyo's clothes when he changes back in the manga in 2019. It's small, but Toru is shown in casual clothes in the manga after they got home. 2019 doesn't show this, likely to emphasize that she's too worried about Yuki to change them. Manga and 2001 show Yuki and Haru meeting for the first time while Yuki is inside, but 2019 shows them outside. 2001 ignores Toru calling Yuki by his last name, so instead of calling him by his first name for the first time, Toru calls him Prince Yuki despite him disliking the princely persona. 2019 adds a scene with Kyo having a nightmare. 2001 skips Hana and Uo remarking about Kyo not causing Toru trouble. Manga and 2001 Kyo punch the wall, but 2019 Kyo strikes in front of Yuki's face. Only the Yuki fan club obsesses about giving Yuki chocolates in 2001 instead of all the girls in the class. Valentine's Day is on Saturday in 2019 and Sunday in the manga. In 2001, they are celebrating Valentine's Day that day, so Toru gives her friends their chocolates instead of saying she'd gift them on a later date. She does not mention giving the other Soma's chocolates in 2001 until a later scene, which replaces the double date. Mayuko is not there to stop Kyo from leaving school early in 2001. Instead, he sees Kagura during school hours, which is kind of odd because she chases him down, and then I assume they just go home? See, this is why I wish they didn't change so much, because logically, he's supposed to see her after school, and then they all go home together. So I don't know where they're getting this from of having him leave class early. I guess they just wanted a gag. When Shigure asks Kagura if she came to give Kyo chocolates, this is where the scene deviates to shenanigans about Kyo refusing to eat chocolate until Toru offers hers. Kyo's panic attack doesn't happen in 2001, and instead, the scene cuts to when Shigure gives Hattori Toru's chocolate, with Kagura tagging along with him instead of going on the date. In the dub, they even add a line of Toru saying, Valentine's came and went in the blink of an eye, which just makes them cutting such a brilliant scene out of the show feel more like a big slap in the face now. The following scene where Kyo bops Toru's head again is not shown in 2001. 
Instead of the rest of the episode following a glimpse into Shigure's backstory and the double date in 2001, as well as Shigure and Hattori's conversation, it just skips to White Day. This is where the two shows deviate the most, as these were two separate episodes in 2019, although the hot spring scenes themselves are in the next episode. Kagura knocks Kyo down the stairs in 2019 rather than bruising his forehead and chasing him afterwards. Mitsuru freaks out about Shigure writing in episode 9 of the original, which occurs before the new year, but it's paired up with goofy house-cleaning hijinks with other cast characters, rather than her appearing after the Valentine's double date. Uo doesn't make fun of Kyo potentially studying the wrong things in 2019. The Traveler has changed to a girl in 2019 to help relate back to Toru. 2001 adds a scene of Kyo, Yuki, Momiji, and Toru on the bus talking about how excited they are in order to pad out runtime. Again. The anime also does this by having two scenes where Toru is fantasizing about being a princess. There is a 2001 exclusive song sung by Momiji, and while Toru sings along, she overheats and faints in the bath. When Toru apologizes for passing out, Okami has another panic attack. There is an added buffet scene only in 2001. A chef makes his appearance here and acts just like Okami, but he's introduced as her cousin, which is often a safe way for shows to create new characters without treading over potential sibling or spouse introductions later. He was added only for hijinks. When Toru takes a second bath in 2001, she's already spoken with Okami about her mother's picture. Although the colors of Toru's ribbons vary in adaptation, Yuki's ribbons are supposed to be blue as it's his favorite color, but since 2001 shows her already wearing blue ribbons, the anime changed it to yellow. 2019 adds a scene of Toru seeing Akito's limo. The 2001 flashback scene is extended and shows Akito whipping Yuki with a crop instead, which is a very odd choice in my opinion. 2001 skips Toru's inner thoughts about being hated for the first time and noticing how scared Yuki is, so her offer to do something fun seems unwarranted since Yuki appears to get over Akito pretty quickly. There's no scene with Yuki pleading for Shigure to free him in 2001. There also isn't the follow-up scene of Haru thanking Toru for helping Yuki after the game is over. 2001 Kyo falls over when Ayame appears as a snake to add more slapstick comedy. Momiji doesn't mention Ayame living outside the main Soma estate. He also doesn't get confused on the word bonding. A lot of the thought bubbles are spoken aloud in 2001, which is something I realized when I rewatched it. 2001 calls the divide between Yuki and Ayame the gap rather than the rift. 2019 refers to the red light district as the pleasure district. Momiji's prologue while watching his mom and his little sister is not in 2001. Kyoko's title was changed from the red to the crimson butterfly in 2019, likely because it may be more of an accurate translation. 2001 adds a random scene about popping wheelies, replacing Momiji's tag game as well as Uo and Hana's conversation about how Toru is still able to smile despite all the pain she's gone through. I honestly didn't understand what was going on when I rewatched it. Like, there's so many important scenes taken out and so many random things put in this show, it's crazy. <laughs> Instead of Toru being at work afterwards, 2001 cuts straight to Kyo declaring that he's going to the grave, followed by the grave scene itself. I will skip this for now since this episode swaps Momiji's plot with the grave visit. Since they are switched, when the girls are back in the hallway, Toru thanks them for going with her. Hana also brings up the concept of Toru being a bride here, which she does later in the episode as well, so kinda redundant. When Momiji finally shows up, 2001 tries to twist the scene about his German heritage into a gender thing instead, as Uo remarks about the boys looking as though they were all chasing one girl. She then goes on to say that guys look like their moms and girls look like their dads in order to justify the change. Toru finds out about Momiji's dad owning the building here. With that being the case, she's surprised to see him there at all, making it so that this is the first time in the series where they've been interacting at work. Mind you, this is episode 15. This is also emphasized in episode 11 on White Day, where Momiji is already at Shigure's house rather than traveling home with Toru after work. 
It's an odd change as I really don't see why they would remove Momiji's part. Even if they didn't want to do his accent, they could have added moments where he appeared once in a while to show that Toru cares about him because they hang out more. Just a thought. It's harder to notice in Japanese, but 2019 had a nice touch in the dub where Momiji's German accent drops whenever his mother is around and reappears when she's gone. Caitlin Glass, who did the dub casting, also points out how a German accent was detected in the manga. I'll have a link to that in the description. 2019 extends Momo's interaction by having her linger on Momiji for a second. 2019 also adds to Momiji's mom's scene by having her stab herself with scissors. Now, it was implied in all adaptations that she may have been hurting herself with the bandages being on her arms, but that particular scene was not in the other sources. Back to the grave plot, after Kyo's declaration, there's a random scene of Shigure drawing for some reason, so yeah. Yuki doesn't think about why Toru was worried about him being sick after mentioning her father. 2001's episode does show Kyo being a bit aloof, but Hana's confrontation with him does not appear, so this is not explained at all. This is merely implied with an awkward look between the two. The conversation Uo and Hana had in the hallway is moved to after the grave when the trio is leaving. Manga and 2001 Uo point out that one of the boys might confess to Toru, while 2019 Uo says that only Kyo might do it. And finally, when Toru has hot tea on the porch, 2001 skips an entire scene of Kyo apologizing to Toru and Yuki finding Toru's hat, which is added back in in 2019. So this episode is a lot shorter. Um, keep in mind, I am looking at three different sources here. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that my first episode was so damn long because I thought it was pretty faithful and then I read it and then I was like, ah, no. Ah. <laughs> so um, anyway, since it is so short, I'm going to include something that maybe not a lot of people might be interested in. But as of now, there are 16 voice actors that returned. So for this episode and for the next one, I'm going to be putting some character voice comparisons so you can kind of hear what the dub voices sound like between the two adaptations. I think it's pretty cool. You guys might like it. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of, you know, the, the last couple of minutes. So if you don't care, just leave. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> so do do that. And thanks for thanks for watching my 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 episode. And hopefully you come back for the next one. Okay, guys. Bye. It's dangerous. We have to go back. We have to go back now. It's not safe here. Come on. What should we do? Shigure said he was vicious. We have to go right now. The rice ball. Ooh, that sounds yummy. I guess they were only trying to tease me a little bit, the way kids do sometimes. Okay, but I didn't know that then. He was probably trying to be mean to me. But at the time... Rice balls are yummy! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! I was just looking! I didn't mean to barge in without permission! Good morning, sir! I'm so sorry! I shouldn't have been looking around without permission! You know, you can tell people what you want. I mean, it's annoying if you do it all the time, but I'd say in your case, you could stand to speak up for yourself a little more. Being selfish sometimes, <sighs> it's no big deal. I wouldn't like it if somebody was selfish every single day. But that isn't the way you are. Who says I forgot? Maybe I didn't want to call you. Why should I have to worry about telling you where I am? Who do you think you are? This is between me and him. It's got nothing to do with you. You stupid little girl. Will you shut up already? This isn't any of your business. What's your deal anyway? It's not the same at all. You should shut up until you know what you're talking about. Shut up. That's none of your business. Don't talk to me about my life. When I was young, there were many times I wanted to run away from Soma House. The fact of the matter is, I just wasn't strong enough or I could have left. I could have lived in the woods by myself in a tent. Take me in the Somas. I thought I'd broken free of them. But I haven't really. Or I would have bought a tent like Miss Honda and gone off someplace where they couldn't find me. 
I guess I've never been very good at this sort of thing. <laughs> I'm not great when it comes to that. Oh my god, my cat. <laughs> Why? What is it? No! The legendary red butterfly, Terror of the Highway. I will always treasure that image of her on her lightning fast bike, popping wheelies. A poppin' wheelie is an 18-wheeler with an oversized belly. What the f***? What am I even watching? What was that? Then they got married. That's the story. I still don't know how Papa managed to find such a hot mama. Excuse me? <laughs> Hey, this is this is this is a lot. It's a lot. 